you have learnt pronouns and you know that they are words which are used in place of nouns to avoid repetition. Now let us read this sentence. Dad bought me an ice cream in the fair. Now in this sentence, dad is the subject and me is the object. So here we see that the subject and the object are different. But if I say dad bought himself an ice cream in the fair, then in this sentence, dad is the subject and himself is the object. So himself is the pronoun which is referring to dad. So object and subject are referring to the same person. So, dad bought himself an ice cream in the fair. Himself is a reflexive pronoun. So, what are reflexive pronouns? A reflexive pronoun ends with self or selves and refers to the noun or pronoun that is both the subject and the object of the sentence. So, for first person singular, we use the reflexive pronoun myself and for first person plural, we use the reflexive pronoun ourselves. For second person singular, we use the reflexive pronoun yourself and for second person plural, we use the reflexive pronoun yourselves. Now, depending on the noun or the pronoun, that it is referring to, in the third person singular, we use either himself, herself or itself as the reflexive pronoun. So, if we are referring to a masculine gender, we use himself. If we are referring to a feminine gender, we use herself and we use itself for the neuter gender, which includes animals and objects. Now, for third person plural, we use the reflexive pronoun themselves. I am teaching myself to play the guitar. So, here myself is referring to I. So, here the subject and the object are the same. So, myself is a reflexive pronoun. Now, let us read this sentence. Make a routine to help yourselves. Now here the subject is not mentioned but it is implied, you is implied and since we are referring to second person plural, you can see there are so many people here, we have used yourselves. So yourselves is also a reflexive pronoun. The mouse found itself entangled in a hunter's net. Here itself is referring to the mouse. Both the subject and the object are same. So itself is also a reflexive pronoun here. Now let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with an appropriate reflexive pronoun. You all hurry and get dash a good seat before the show starts. So what will be the appropriate reflexive pronoun here? Can we say you all hurry and get you? Now you is not a reflexive pronoun. So this is not the correct option. Can we say you all hurry and get yourself a good seat before the show starts? Now remember, though yourself is a reflexive pronoun, it is not the correct answer here because we have mentioned you all as the subject. It is referring to second person plural. So our correct answer will be you all hurry and get yourself a good seat before the show starts. So what did we learn today? Today we have learnt about reflexive pronouns and that they are pronouns which are used when the subject and the object of a sentence are the same. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. 
over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English, and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged, and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.